guys, this is Maths Athlete. Um, this is core A-level mathematics, and today we will be discussing multiplying and expanding sets. Okay, so um, let's start off with a notation. Uh, say we are given root a times root a. This will equal, knowing from our uh, first rule, a. You could say a a or a times a. Now this is the same as root a squared. However, when you square when you when you square root a squared number, uh, these two can. Let me uh, use a different color. These two cancel out, so you're left with a. Similarly, with the cube root of a times the cube root of a times the cube root of a is simply the cube root of a cubed and this also cancels out and we're left with a so basically uh, this is a simple notation these also go on with you know if you have the fourth root and the fifth root and so on and so on if you times it by four but this is just to give you the idea, so uh, when we're timesing, say by root 2 times root 2 and equals 2, you, you're like, whoa, where did you get this from? This is basically the explanation. So say we're given, uh, say we're given a third, sorry, let's change that, uh, 6, 6 root 2 times 4 root 2, and for us to time this, uh, we would simply times this, sorry, let's show that, this times this, and we would times this by this. We would times the terms by each other. So we would times the integers by, by each other. We'll times the integers by each other and the roots by each other. So we'll equal 24 for 6 times 4 and root 2 times root 2 is simply 2 as we mentioned from before so the final answer is 48 uh, if we're given another another example 6 root 12 times 3 root 3 now I have two ways of going around this I can simplify I can simplify root 12 let me use green I can simplify root 12 to root 4 times root 3 and we know that root 4 is a perfect square so we'll just uh, use that as 2 or I can times root 12 by root 3 which I'm going to do so we get used to doing and let me use a different color times this by this so now we have 18 times 12 times 3 root 12 times root 3 which is root 36 and we know from our perfect squares that root 36 is 6 so it's 18 times 6 and forgive me if I'm wrong it's 108 108 yes so this is the simple concept um, we'll do another example uh, on the next so uh, 5 root 6 times 6 root 3 uh, again let's highlight what we're going to times by we're going to times the integers by each other and we're going to times the roots by each other hopefully I'm not blocking out the root signs uh, so 5 times 6 30 and 6 times 3 18 but remember it's root 18 and now we can simplify this we can have 30 times root 9 times root 2. Remember I chose uh, the best factors which are squared numbers so I can square root them. So now it's 30 times 3 times root 2. So now the final answer is 90 root 2. So that's the simple answer. Uh, now let's move on to something called so now we've uh, sorry now we've uh, discussed the concept of multiplying sets 
Uh, now let's uh, move on to expanding certs. But before we start, let's mention something called compound certs. So, um, an ex so this is what a uh, compound cert is. An expression such as uh, root six. Let's put these in brackets. Root six plus root three is called a compound cert, as it contains more than one type of cert. Now, if you uh, think back to chemistry, for all you chemists out here. Um, uh, to do with particles, if you have a, uh, sorry, to do with atoms, uh, a molecule is a, is a, uh, can, is more than one atom, however, of the same element, however, a compound is more than one type of element, so that's, uh, so you can relate to that, if uh, that helps, and basically compound means uh, more than one type uh, together, um, so now let's uh, move on to expanding brackets. Uh, sorry, expanding, expanding certs, which is expanding brackets. Okay, same thing. Okay, so we are asked to expand uh, these two brackets, and they include certs. Um, let's use our basic knowledge of multiplying certs. So let's use a color. Say we're going to multiply this, and that will be here. So root 6 times root 5 is root 30. And then you add a plus. Wait, hold on, let's see what the next one is. Say we're going to do root 2 times root 7. So, yes, it's going to be a plus. So now we have root 14. And now we have root 2 times root 5, which is plus root 10. And then we have finally root 6 times root 7 which is root 42 and this is the simplest form uh, to put them in uh, if you put the, if you put your answer in this form uh, then this is the correct form um, you cannot simplify this and uh, that's that okay so let's do another example Okay, so similar again, we are asked to expand this. However, it's uh, slightly a bit harder because we now we have negative signs and uh, we don't have all certs. Actually, that may be easier for some people. But anyway, um, let's do 5 times 5. Uh, that is 25. And now we have root 3 times 5, which is... Sorry, let's use blue again positive 5 root 3. You can write it as root 3 5, however some people might read it as root 35, so or you can do that, but it's best to do that and scrap this because it looks better. Yeah. However, don't put it too close so people think it's like the 5th root. Yeah. Okay, back to expanding so we've expanded this times this and this times this and now we have 5 times minus root 8 which is the same as 5 times minus 8 so that's minus sorry uh, yeah and different color 5 times minus 1 root 8 because remember there's a secret 1 here there's a secret 1 here and so that becomes minus 5 root 8 never ever times this, this the coefficient times the inside because that is just messed up and finally we have uh, which one haven't we done this one so now we have what is blue and this is negative as well so it's negative root 24 and that's the simplest form or is that sorry that's three times yeah that's three times it yeah uh, yeah so that's the simplest form um, let's have one final example um, this one's going to be a bit evil okay so now this one has um, coefficients to its uh, roots um, I think the best thing to do uh, you notice in my videos is I, is I use a 
you notice with my videos is that I use a, I use a lot of examples and um, I think that's the best way uh, in my opinion to learn a uh, topic so uh, I include a lot of examples and here is another one okay so let's expand this so let's do this times this which, okay so six times nine which is let's use blue six times nine is 54 and root two times root six is root 12 okay so we've got these two done now we have this times this and since they're both minus it's going to be a positive so we can add straight away here a positive so minus four times minus seven uh, is 28 and then six and 12 six six times two is 12 so root six times root two is root 12 and uh, now we have the bottom two so let's use blue again um, six times minus seven is minus 42 root two times root two is root four um, I kind of added the root back so I'm just going to keep on going and minus four root six times nine root six so that's minus four times nine which is minus 36 and six times six is six so that's 36 times six okay and so now we're simplifying this now so we've expanded it and now we're simplifying um, we have two like terms so we're using our like we learned from the second lesson adding sorry the third one of the lessons um, where we learned how to subtract and add so 54 root 12 plus 28 root 12 is 82 root 12 add that and now we have minus 42 times 4 uh, times 2 sorry because uh, root 4 is uh, 2 so that is minus 84 minus 36 times minus 36 times 6 it's minus 216 and that equals so we've done that and so we've done these two terms uh, we've done that we've done that that equals 82 root 12 minus 300 a perfect number let's say 12 and usually they uh, ask you to leave it in this form so it's like uh, p root 12 minus well no p root 12 plus q and they'll say p and q are integers and uh, so this was yeah so this comes up a lot um, now let's go to a uh, more advanced, see where we're going advanced and advanced and advanced. So now we have uh, expanding squared brackets. Um, and notice because this is in brackets, uh, yeah, I'm um, sorry, no, no, no uh, sorry, different example, yes. Uh, so this is the same as six plus root three times six plus root three. So now we can expand this. So we have six times six, which is thirty-six. Um, you get used to the idea, so we don't have to keep in drawing the lines. Uh, so you have thirty-six, and then you have six times root three. So it's six root three. Uh, you have six times root three again, so that's six root three, and then you have root three times root three, which is, if you can remember, three. Yes, and if we simplify this, uh, if we add the terms, so the like terms, remember, so 36 plus 3 is 39, so add the integers and you add the thirds together because they're the same roots. So this is 12 root 3, and that took around less than a minute. So if we can do this in the exam, then we've nailed it. Okay, so now we have 4 plus root 2 squared, and if we set out like this again, we have 4 plus root 2 4 plus root 2 remember the squared sign just means this times itself which is this 
So now we have 4 times 4, 16, 4 times root 2. And uh, you can also think about it as you don't, you don't have to draw this out. You just do this times itself, then this times this, and then this times this, and then this times itself. But if that's complicated, you could just uh, draw it out. So 4 times root 2, so that's 4 plus root 2. And then you have 4 plus root 2 again. And then root 2 times root 2 is 2. See, this is a, a nice example. So you have 18 plus 8 root 2. And that's the final answer. Um, last example, last, last. So now we have the, a minus, uh, si uh, we have a negative sign here. Call it minus negative. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, as long as you know what it means, of course. Uh, so we set it out like this. Uh, yeah. So we have positive 5 times 5, so that's 25. And now we have 5 times negative root 6, so that's... Remember, it's like there's a 1 here, and there's a 1 here. Uh, never forget that. So it's 5 root 6 minus 5 root 6. And then... Uh, minus root 6 times minus root 6 well that's uh, positive so it's going to be plus 6 so now we have 31 minus 10 root 6 that's a that's a 10 don't want to make a mistake so this is the final example uh, I hope you've uh, learnt uh, how to multiply and expand certs now um, I hope this video has helped you well. If you have any questions, message me on my channel. Uh, subscribe. If these videos are useful. There are lots to come, especially C1 and C2, and maybe C3 and C4. Um, and give your feedback in the comments. And thank you for watching. This is Maths Athlete, and goodbye.